I think when we talk about celebrating love, it's not just love and humans. I think as an individual, we go through life with a lot of obstacles, challenges, but also a lot of happiness and joy. If you have someone who is dear to you that you can share ups and downs, I think that is beautiful. Love is about being accommodating, being understanding, respectful, tolerant. My father's a very integral part of my childhood. And even though he's passed on, he's always in our minds of what my father was like. I think that, that set me up for life. It was really just a very ordinary day. I received a phone call. I thought, oh, okay, it's just an ordinary call, asking where am I? But the first thing he told me was, okay, B, first of all, don't panic. I was just involved in a very bad car accident. We were in heavy traffic. Then in a the rearview mirror, I saw this huge bus barreling down towards us. There was a, like something straight out from a horror movie, man. The next thing I knew, there was a whiteout. I couldn't really comprehend the extent of the damage to my body, but I couldn't feel my legs. I had a chance to speak to the doctor. He injured his spine and cannot carry anything more than seven kg. Our second boy, uh, he was about a year plus, yeah, which means he cannot carry even a baby. I lost a lot of my bodily functions and I couldn't walk. I thought they had lost the father and I just wanted to let her go or drive her away. So I think that was what really hit me. Even though what we see from the outside seems fine, but what's happening on the inside is what is going to cause his handicap. Certain days, I'm fighting my own battles simply to get out of bed. And that's quite a profound realisation. What was worse than the physical disability was actually the emotional stress that he was going through. But because he's a very prideful man, he would never say it. So it took me a very long time to come to terms with it that he was insecure. So I just had to take very careful steps mm, to assure him. I would demand that she come home midday. She has to pick up the phone, otherwise I'll be imagining all sorts of things. Her abandoning me and bringing the kids, of her finding someone else. We went through the toughest time imaginable for us as a couple. These last two years or so, when I started to be able to walk again, she brought the whole family on her first walk, brought us cycling. It started to show me that that's where my priorities really ought to be. Previously, I was not much of a father, not much of anything actually, apart from a, a career guy. I start to see the little things that my children enjoy, you know, with our time together. The accident has given them a new father, and for that, I'm immensely grateful. I believe that life doesn't throw us anything that we cannot handle. So whatever comes our way, it will bring us a lot of growth as a person. That is what life is all about, right? I think the accident has toned him down a lot to be more humble. And for me, it's about patience, finding the solution. Through her, I began to have a clearer sense of purpose. That's the greatest thing she's brought to my life, our family, my children. My father always reminded me, even on, on his deathbed, when the day comes and you're able to, you must always do right by this woman. She's done so much, not just for you as a manager, as a partner, but for our family. He kept asking me over the years, after he got better from the accident. Marry me, marry me. So I actually proposed to her in June. She didn't expect it. I surprised her at the airport and I popped the question, went down on one knee, the full works, gentlemen. And she still ran away. <laughs> her colleagues dragged her back and she, okay, 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 yes, 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 yes. It was hilarious. I had to really find a way to invite her parents because previously, I don't think her parents would have wanted to attend because of, well, the person that I was. I was tactless, I was rude, but they've seen a more vulnerable side of me since the accident. I'm a changed man in many aspects of the world. This is the happiest I've been in many years. The wedding really cements that fact. I felt that it was a symbol that we have gone through a lot together and we are indeed moving on to the next phase of our lives. We came out stronger as a couple and the next 40 years will be even more meaningful for us. Every day that we live is a gift and we should celebrate that gift that has been given to us. Celebrate love, celebrate life.